So we're now into the final week of July. Um, it's actually been a very wet month. I know for a lot of people, they've had substantial rain, which has played havoc with the early part of harvest. Um, one crop that's, that's really benefited from that rain though has been sugar beet. And this field, you may remember, I was studying this back in June and it looked quite sick. It was drilled late in May. Um, however, you can see we, we've got a full canopy. We, we, we've actually got a nice looking crop now. Um, so the crop has had some tailored nutrition so far along with some biostimulants. And then it's had that vital component, some rain, which has really, really helped. Thoughts will now turn towards that summer fungicide on the, on the sugar beet crop. From a nutritional point of view, the main focus now is to keep this foliage green and healthy so we can maximize that, that summer sunshine. Uh, key nutrient for that would be magnesium. Magnesium is a critical nutrient uh, for sugar beet. Deficiency in magnesium can basically lead to total plant death. From our perspective, then we recommend two liters a hectare of Yara Vita Magflow. That can be tank mixed with your fungicide, which will be going on any time towards the end of July and early, early August. If you also want to mitigate against any more stress, then, then the application of that biostimulant could also help. Um, if you remember back to the trials that we did last year, it was that double application that gave that big yield increase. So just like this crop, it had its first application at the, uh, the six true leaf stage. Then we followed again around six, six to eight weeks later. Um, so if you really want to set that crop up, add in that second application of the bio track in with that two liters of mag flow when you're going through with your fungicide to keep this crop green, maximize that summer sun, turn into improved sugar and root yields.